Fine. Fine. Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really, how's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Oh man, you were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Actually, she told me how good it was between the two of you. I mean, at least before it all went sideways. Yeah, there were a lot of good times, but they didn't last very long. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now? Please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula? Come here. Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. <laughs> it was easy. I barely broke a sweat. It may have been easy for you, Nebula, but it was not easy. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me. But I am not so sure. 
Every day, she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. It won't come to that, Father. I'm not so certain. We shall see how things go on Phalian. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But Father- Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Nebula. Father. You were wrong. It has come to this after all. I am done with her insolence. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. wasn't over. She showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. 
Oh, I saved your Admit life. it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me by killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know, I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part, the most important part, but I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever Maybe agree with. Maybe you just aren't listening. If I'm not, there's probably a good yeah. reason. And that reason is that you don't listen. That logic is completely circular. Guys, guys, stop. You both want the same thing. He's actually right. It happens sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could give each other a chance. All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. Well, it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... Ow! Hey! What? Oh, uh, was that a dagger? Was it... What, you got a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. 